Hey folks, coming in and doing a video about uh, Fitzpatrick Nuclear Power Station in New York. And it was just bought by Exelon Power Company and for $110 million. Now, this, this reactor, this site, is leaking. There was just news, just news in the last month or so that there was a leak there and there was a film on top of the water at one of the Great Lakes. I think it was Lake Huron, I think. So now, Exelon buys this and they're petitioning the state for money through a renewable legislation um, where Governor Cuomo is proposing to give them $7.6 billion. That's right, $7.6 billion. Do we have $7.6 billion laying around that I don't know about? That's, that's with a B, not million, billion. For, um, for a plant that's already lived past its license. I don't, I don't understand why they would move forward on bringing this reactor back up to life, putting more money into it. They should just shut it down. They need to shut Indian Point down, too. It's just leaking into the Hudson. Leaking right into the Hudson. And making its way through all our river systems. Through everywhere. I need you to guys to do some research. On what is known as transuranics. Okay? Transuranics is basically what comes from the reaction. Okay, it's what's it's the extra stuff that's made after after they've split the atom. Once they've got that reaction, then that then it's the, all the extra chains afterwards. It's the it's the cesium. It's the the iodine. The you know, the mericium, the, you know, the tritium, you know, uh, cesium-134, 137, 139, you know, uranium-238, 239, plutonium, okay, these are all transuranics that, that come from uranium, okay, the one thing that's in coal is uranium. And that's what everybody's scared of. But the transuranics that are made from nuclear power are many, 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 many times more dangerous than any naturally occurring uranium. That's fact. That's fact. So you have all this waste, all this nuclear waste, We're talking tons and tons of just nuclear nuclear spent fuel that has to be stored on every site. Every nuclear site has its own storage facility. Not to pit, not to mention when when these rods come out of the reactors, they have to be stored in a in a fuel pool for ten years. Ten years, we have to cool them in a fuel pool. So we use all this energy to, to cool the fuel, all this energy to store the fuel, all this materials to put in dry cast, all the, all the rods, and then you got barrels of, you know, low level to mid level waste that are, that are like, you know, gloves and suits and masks and hammers and screwdrivers and what have you. Look into transuranics. There's a list of the known transuranics that 
is about 211 elements, okay? Most scientists believe, and you can look this up, this is all peer review, that is closer to a thousand transuranics, and they don't even know the half of them. There's elements coming out of this that they don't even know what's coming out of it. The fact is we don't have the technology now and we don't have the tech we won't have the technology in the next 10 15 years to know what to do with the waste it's just not possible we've been at this for 60 years and we still don't know what to do with the waste we still don't know in 60 years can you people not understand that 60 years and we still don't know what to do with radioactive waste there's no centralized spot for them to put it like the law states and that's that's the end of it I mean that's this is so dangerous we're doing things that we have no clue what we're doing with nuclear we get into coal we get into fossil fuels and so and, and, and stuff like that and we know we kind of can can do something about it with nuclear we have no answers it just creates more answers than it solves or it creates more questions than it than it has answers for I should say it like that be out here making a video like this no I'd rather much rather be doing something else with my life but I'm standing here right now making a video out here in the middle of nowhere about Transuranix, Exelon, Fitzpatrick does anybody care is there a reason I'm doing this for there's so many people like me doing this Kevin Blanche, number one. Got Dana Durnford, Miss Milky. Got, um, got Stronium Milk. Got, uh, there's so many. There's uh, Weeping Willow, too. Weeping Willow, too, for you. There's so many of us out here that know what's going on. And if I didn't name you, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to forget you. Look at this tree. I love this tree. This is an awesome tree. I love this spot right here. Makes me think. We gotta get rid of nuclear. It's our only hope for the for the future. We are too arrogant to believe that we can build these things to withstand whatever, whatever Mother Nature can dish out. It's just not possible. It's not possible. And I hope you guys can hear me from here. I want to show you guys this. This is my spot. I like this spot. I come here with my kids sometimes. Look at that. Look at that tree. It's been leaning for years. Look at this thing. Many, many years. Alright guys, I'm going to have to get out of here for now, I'm getting, getting long on my time, but watch for Norn nuclear fallout.